the hill. Yeah. Maybe you turn left. Up. Right up. Do you not find it crazy when like you look at stuff like that and knowing that you're in those matches? And Lampard was my manager, Frank Lampard, you know. Yeah. I was there that night. <laughs> crazy. Like even that, that looking at that and then you know you're looking at yourself on the TV. Nice house that we're in. Like, did you think it would your life would pan out this way in regards to you playing football? <laughs> A dream as a kid it was my dream to play in the Premier League we train for three hours a day every day I'm a, I'm a footballer for three hours a day after that I'm just a normal person you know I'm a, I'm a family man um, love my family to bits and um, growing up being an Arsenal fan and uh, being signed for Arsenal as any kid any kid does you know, when you sign Academy forward you think this is it this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life I'm gonna play football um, I remember training at the the old JVC centre, which was at Highbury, mm. and I used to see the first team players leaving the stadium and stuff. And I think that's what I'm going to be when I'm older. I've always looked up to players like Ian Wright's my idol. Yeah. Right, Ian Wright, man. Out of all three of them, Ian you know, Wright. And then there's that. Yeah, when when I got released, it was one of the say the hardest things for me to take was the rejection of getting told that I'm. Not good enough at that time. Uh, 15, I got told that I'm not getting my YTS at Arsenal. And because I've dreamt of it and worked so hard to, to get there, for it to just finish like that, it, it, it hurt me. And um, things in my life started taking a toll on it. You know, I got kicked out of school at the time. I just wasn't interested in, in doing anything. I felt it was like the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But I've got a strong family behind me. You know, my dad's one of my biggest supporters. He was supporting me. Yeah, you were talking about sacrifices that like your dad had to make for you to, you know, play football. And what does that do for you in regards to, you know, the sacrifices you have to make? When I was 15, as any 15 year old would do, you got friends who want to go out, and mm. and I wanted to go out with my friends as any normal kid does. But you know, when you got to drive and you you got to sacrifice things like that, going out with your friends, going on holiday in the summer with mm. them. You know, I was always at football. Yeah, people. People just think, oh yeah, football footballers never work hard, you know. And and I can see where they're coming from. You know, they just see all the all the glitz and the glam, glam and see the, oh yeah, they earn a lot, a lot of money and stuff. But you know, we have it's not just like something that we're falling from. We've had to sacrifice our whole life to yeah to get to where we are. You spend a lot of time travelling, so what's that like having to spend time away from the family? Yeah, it's hard. And as I said, I had to move away from my family when I was 17. Mm. So I moved away and went up to Cambridge when I was 17. You didn't grow up with this no. in, in London. But does it just make you just appreciate everything that you've achieved even more? That you're able to you know, change your surroundings and actually offer better surroundings for your kids, ultimately? Yeah, um, this is, for me, this is my fun. You know, coming out here on walks with my dog. I bring my kids here for whatever's good. They have fun, you know, climbing trees, whatever it is, throwing rocks. Absolutely. it. What looking done? Right, just pose, just pose. Oh, I can't even see what's behind me! Right. Would your kids go out there with you? Yeah. No way. Yeah, they would. No way. My, my missus and I would be scared, but no, they would. And uh, you know, I just want them to be free and enjoy. I don't want to be stuck in the house playing mm. PlayStation or an iPad or something. Get out and, and explore just what we've got, where we're lucky to live, where we are. You know, we've got all these, you say the peak district, we've got all these places to come and walk. So they enjoy coming out. And mm. um, yeah, I, I do really appreciate what I've got living around here. <laughs> Now I've got my family, I'm settled now, I've got my house and I can come home and see them when I want and they know when I come home from football I'm, I'm just Bradley Johnson, a normal, mm. normal family man. You're the clown. You're the clown. Uh, <laughs>